So I was recently able to make a purchase that I've been wanting to make for quite some time. And I got a enclosed trailer. Look how I did that real vlogger type. Yeah. It's five by 10. And a couple reasons I went with five by 10. For one, uh, it tracks behind my pickup. So the tires on this trailer will follow in the same groove as my pickup. And I did that because um, my work takes me off pavement quite a bit and a lot of times in sand or mud. And I wanted the trailer to track with my pickup just for that reason so that if I got into mud or uh, real bad sand, I didn't have tires outside of uh, the track of my pickup um, throw me around, things like that. Uh, and I also went 5x10 because this, this next step up, like a 6x10 was like another $1,000. Um, one thing that I wanted when I first got the trailer, but now I kind of wish I would have held out for differently, is I got a barn door. Uh, the barn door is good, and it's what I wanted because I will be having to load material in and out and sometimes with a forklift so i saw the ramp door being a problem with that uh, also i wish i would have waited for one with a side door so that i could access the front of the trailer without having to climb over everything but um the barn door is going to be okay uh the the drawback is out here the wind you have to be very conscious of the direction that you're going to be parking your trailer according to the wind and the peg that you uh, use to, that they put on the trailer to hold the door open is not suitable for these conditions. So I had to park it and then tie it off to my pickup. I'm gonna try to come up with some better solutions for that. But I got this trailer mainly because I need to haul material. I need to haul loose material that I can't put on like a flat tech, uh, open like open utility trailer um also tools i uh, carry a lot of tools power tools that are expensive and i have gotten tools stolen out of the back of my pickup before and this way hopefully i can keep material and tools uh, more secure when i need to whether it's if i stay at a hotel or if i leave it parked out at a field on a job site um, i can keep it locked up and secure and then really another reason is I wanted a, basically like a stealth camper, bug out camper, um, so that I can sleep out here because, and you know, shower, cook, whatever, kind of be a, a mobile office if I need to, mobile workshop, uh, out here in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a field. Sometimes it just gets so dang windy and you just need to get in out of it and I figured this would uh, would solve that problem and a lot of the times where I'm working there is not any hotels like sometimes it may be an hour to the nearest town or whatever so you kill a lot of time just driving back and forth when you're working out of town doing what I do and I wanted this so that I can just pretty much live at the job site and start to finish or during periods of time where I need to be on site and I haven't done anything to it. This is bare bones this is the way I bought it. Uh, I haven't made any modifications at all. I'm not going to start throwing a bunch of money at insulation and wiring up gadgets and uh, all that stuff. I'm not going to build any thing permanent until I'm positive that's how I want it. Uh, because like I said, this is a multi-purpose uh, tool for me so that I can uh, haul material. I need to be able to basically fold things up out of the way so I can do that. So none of the um, fixtures of this will be permanent for the most part. Uh, probably be like a Murphy bed and the shower. I'm still trying to visualize exactly how I want to do that. It'll probably be something pretty crude and pretty temporary, uh, at least for now. Uh, I have a 15 gallon water tank that has a 12 volt pump and I have a small 12 volt battery and a solar panel that'll charge it and that's going to be my water source for right now and I have a camp camp right camp cot which is basically a cot with a tent like uh, 
thing on it. I don't really know how to explain it, but if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then I just have a propane burner and propane cylinder. I got a cast iron skillet. So I'm going to get by with that for tonight and, you know, for a little while until I decide exactly what I want to do. But, um, yeah, sorry if this video is windy, but I can't really do anything about it. And I'm running out of daylight, so I need to get camp set up and I'll try to get some video of kind of how that goes. Um, when it gets light in the morning. When I said I was going to wait for daylight to show the setup, I forgot that I had this pretty cool work light Harbor Freight special. So I'll just go ahead and do it now. This is the camp right tent cot. You can see how it goes together. It's pretty simple. I actually set it up inside the trailer so it can be set up obviously in pretty tight quarters. And I'll put my sleeping pads and my sleeping bag inside that. Uh, that's what's in that gray tote right there is all that junk. Uh, I'll probably get this water tank out of the way before I call it a night. But anyway, kitchen area, workshop area, and anchor for the door. So we'll see how tonight goes. And I'm going to do some figuring on... The shower setup, like I said, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do all that yet, but this is what we're looking at for tonight.